row seat for this one. And Megan, wow, this one, uh, Kings Fork, trying it's still buzzing tonight in Hornets in the Hornets Hive there, isn't it? Yeah, it is definitely buzzing tonight at the Hornets Hive. Mark Deep Creek hosting Kings Fork. And what is the Hornets homecoming game? And check out all of the school spirit. The students, they are decked out in purple and deck out some pretty cool floats, as you can see during the parade. So Hornets, how about you go ahead and tell me what your favorite part about homecoming week is? My favorite part of homecoming week is definitely dressing up for spirit week. It's the most fun part is the school spirit. My favorite part is riding on the float and watching the football game afterwards. So, of course, speaking of that football game, let's go ahead and see how this Southeastern District matchup goes down. It's not until late in the first quarter when we get our first score of the game. Kings Fork quarterback Cameron Butler hits a little sharp up the middle. He's not going to be brought down and is in for the score. The two-point conversion will be good, and the Bulldogs take an 8-0 lead. Jumping to the final seconds of the first half, Butler spots Aiden Lewis way downfield. Lewis wide open in the end zone to make the catch, and Kings Fork carries a 15-3 lead into halftime. Now the Hornets don't go touchdownless in their homecoming game. They do score twice in the fourth quarter, each time on a rushing touchdown by quarterback Anthony Barnes. But it's going to be too little, too late. Kings Fork wins 31-16 and remains undefeated. But as much as head coach Anthony Joffreon would like to celebrate their unbeaten stint, he's looking to clean things up before facing his old high school head coach when the Bulldogs face Oscar Smith next week. I'm excited, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, and it feels so bad because I want to enjoy the win, but at the end of the day, there's a lot of stuff we got to clean up if we're going to, um, you know, challenge, you know, Oscar Smith High School. So we got to have a great week of practice. We got to focus on our discipline and we got to be prepared to play next week. And that matchup next week is going to be an away matchup, so in enemy territory. But that does it for me with the 757 showdown.